Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to be attempting repair shop restart. So uh, that didn't really roll off the tongue the way I thought it would. Uh, repair shop restart. Uh, so basically what we need to do is take this truck all the way back to uh, the drowned islands. And uh, yeah, we have to... Oops. Hold on. Uh, yeah. I, I knew I said islands. I don't I don't know why. That just seemed really weird. It's the drowned lands, not the drowned islands. Uh, anyways, so we gotta we gotta take this truck. We gotta go grab a trailer and we've gotta go pick up three vehicle spare parts, which I'm not gonna lie, I think that's all the way back towards uh the warehouse that's over there, so um uh, I'm so tempted. You know what? Yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna save some time. Uh, let's recover this vehicle, and actually, we'll change the smokestack real quick just to see if that uh, in fact does change the truck at all, um, or at least the the smoke, right? Uh, so here's our test. Uh, where is it? Exhaust. I'm rolling with the stock exhaust. You know what? That that was a different truck. Um. You know what? Let's go with the flappy. Actually, let's actually test this right now. We've got the stock truck, so it's not horrible. I, I left the parking brake on purpose so that it puts some drag on the engine. That way. You really get some smoke rolling out. Um, okay, so let's recover. Luckily that doesn't cost us anything. Uh, but yeah, let's go here and let's go... I'm gonna do the flappy cap. Uh, or the flap cap. That sounds kind of... fun. <laughs> but let's leave the garage. Uh, nah, I would say the smoke levels, I mean, there might be a little bit more smoke. It's, uh, yeah, there might be a little bit more. But you know what, this truck doesn't really pollute too much, or, uh, doesn't really roll on coal, <laughs> as the kids say nowadays. Um, so I think we'll be okay. Um... I don't know if that's going to let me hook it up. I don't like the way where they put this. Uh, what? You know what? I, I have to go with just... Uh, the truck's being dumb. Yeah, I really don't like the where they put this uh, trailer point. Because you, uh, you have to have enough room for the trailer to spawn. And yeah, we're just gonna go with the uh, standard, typical trailer. It it just it's the best one. Like there is no point to use a different one. There there really isn't. I I still haven't figured out a reason to use a different um, trailer. I mean, the whether or not you have sideboards, uh, that's really up to you. Um. Where is it that we have to go? So we gotta go to this warehouse. Uh, so it's not... I thought the uh, vehicle spare parts were over here. Oh, you know what? That's okay. We're... Uh, we're not too far away. And apparently... <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit longer because I don't know how my uh, turning radius is, is so bad. It's so bad in this truck. I keep complaining about it, I know. I probably should stop complaining about the uh, turning radius, but... I mean, when it's this bad, you just kind of have to, right? <laughs> the sad part is, is I haven't, uh... haven't really gotten accustomed to it yet. And that was... You know what? I was, I was debating about, um doing a test because this truck is so slow I kind of wanted to use like the dairy and put it in a train and have the dairy pull this truck in a trailer and see if I can pull 
with two trucks at a higher speed. Because that might be a way to uh, get around this map a little faster. Um, I probably could... You know what I forgot to do? I am such a, 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 a smart person. Uh, let's detach the trailer, because obviously I'm going to recover the truck. I totally forgot that we got the uh, the engine upgrade. Uh, so we've got the 15.3, so... Uh, it doesn't affect the fuel consumption or the durability, so... Yeah, it's not until you get into the 16.1. Uh, Let's go ahead and throw that engine in. How much can we sell that for? $3,000. Why not? Uh, I don't have the fine tune. I got the advanced special. Ooh, higher fuel consumption. You know what? Let's, let's throw it in. I just, I don't know if I need that. I don't know if I need the low, minus, and plus. Okay, so we are burning, it looks like maybe 0.2 to 0.3 gallons more per minute. It's still pretty low. Uh, the speed of the truck. That does feel slightly faster though, so yeah, it's definitely faster. So let's uh, let's roll with this one. We'll try it. We'll see if we like it. If we uh, find out that we're using way too much gas, it's not really worth the uh, the upgrade. We are burning quite a bit more fuel now, but we're still well into the. Uh, one hour range. Like, yeah, that would be 60 minutes. Alright, well, you know what? That's that's still pretty good. I'm I'm okay with that. Um unfortunately, I'm not okay with backing up. <laughs> that was uh Okay. You know what? Doesn't have to be perfect. The game's very forgiving when it comes to uh, aligning your trailer, so we're gonna go with it. Let's get this show on the road now. Okay, we are definitely in the uh, 1.5 now, 1.4. Uh, it's hit or miss. Yeah, it's getting into one sevens, one eights. I mean, that's still at least 45 minutes of fuel, so. That's still pretty good. Although I don't, I, I can't honestly tell you. I'd have to get two trucks side by side. Um, I feel like we might be going just a hair faster. Um, I probably could look at the speedometer. So we are just about 32, 33 miles an hour. Have to, uh,. Unfortunately, I don't know what the stock transmission, or not, not the stock uh, engine. Actually, the stock engine and stock transmission setup was, because uh, I changed both of them. I, I think we're gonna like this setup a little better. It, it does feel a little bit faster. And I can't wait to use the advanced special. Um, not the advanced special, the other one, the uh, the adjustable one that you kind of slide the slider. I haven't I haven't used it yet, so I don't even know what the technical term for it is. Uh, but I think that's the other transmission for this truck. So that one I'll be uh, kind of interested to see what that one's all about. Uh, it's a fine tune, that's what it was called. Um, I think that's the one with the slider. I don't really know... Yeah, I actually don't know anything about it because I've never used it, so... I, I'm pretty sure, though, you can be, have a slider uh, between your low minus and your low high. And... Yeah, I don't... 
uh, unless it does something else besides that, maybe it's between other gears as well. It just doesn't really seem like it would be that big of a deal because you have low minus, low and low plus. It's a pretty big range. You know, if you only had low minus and low plus, and then you could pick in between that, that would that would make more sense. But yeah, I don't I don't know. Well, you know what? We'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there because eventually we will get there, and I will find enough upgrades. Um, speaking of upgrades. I gotta keep my eyes peeled a little bit more because, yeah, this engine upgrade, I didn't even, uh, it, it didn't show up on the map and I just barely saw it out of the corner of my eye, so luckily I was able to find it and, uh, yeah, we get to test that engine out now. Alright, so, uh, cargo, we need vehicle spare parts. I wish, you know what, let's grab... We've got our three vehicle spare parts. I really want to know what the other... Yeah, it doesn't really have anything else that we that we would need. This is all logging. Oh, all this is logging. So we are going old school and basically going all the way back to logging when it comes to that one. Security... Okay, so this is all from... This is all from this map, so... This is actually something we could have done before we went to uh, the quarry, but... You know, we'll get there. Pathfinder. Reach the northern road, okay. I'm pretty sure I already did that, so that should be pretty easy to uh, do. It's obviously really easy because it's only thirteen hundred dollars. Anyways, let's um, let's not worry about what else has to go. We'll take this load. Let's just spin the truck around and uh, go back out the way we came. I think if we go left here, we'll have, uh, we'll be a little bit quicker. We'll come up the, uh, the north side of the map. Which is actually where that one task is, so... That should be, that should make for an easy, um... Yeah, we just go to the road and up the road we go. Uh, but that should make for an easy... Uh, mission, so... At least we'll get more than one done <laughs> in this episode. I, I couldn't believe how uh, long it took to finish the one mission that we started. We actually started it in the episode before the last one. So that was, that's how long that episode took. I mean, it would have been, I think it was close to at least uh, 50 minutes to an hour to do that one mission. There's probably better ways to do it than what I did, but that's the way I did it, and that's the way you guys get to watch me do it, so... You know, it is kind of... it is what it is, right? But I think, uh, I definitely feel like this mission will get at least two done and start a third. If not even, possibly a fourth. Uh, I'm gonna skip getting gas. I do... I mean, this is... Hmm. I don't know, it, it seems like it's a faster sometimes, but then other times it feels like it's not as fast as the fourth gear, but I can only assume that we're going faster because we're in fifth gear, but I mean, it could just be closer gear ratios. Doesn't necessarily relate to speed. But anyways, I, I'm going to say that we are going faster. I'm going to I'm going to say that we I hope <laughs> I hope we're going faster. All right, so we are starting to lose some sunlight, so I'm going to I'm going to skip the morning once we uh get across the border here. And I do have three vehicle spare parts, so that's that's a good sign.
At least it says on there, vehicle spare part. Like you can easily identify the spare part, so it's the ones where you have no clue. All you have is when you pick them up or drop them off, that tells you exactly what you have, so. Alright, and just like that, we are already back to the quarry, so that wasn't, uh, Oh, like that was almost way too soon. <laughs> ah, the semi-trailer was created in Cleveland in 1898. All right, uh, let's see here. Where do we got to go? Oh, we got to go way over here. Okay. That makes sense. I knew that. And the best way to get there is to go... Yeah, we'll go through here. We'll go this way. And then hopefully that, uh, that should be all I need to get through. And I'm almost, I'm almost tempted to grab another trailer as we go by. Uh, you know what? I, uh, I got skipped to morning, so let's go ahead and do that. Now, I did turn off the fog, did I not? A motion blur, I could have sworn I turned that off too. Volume fog off, okay. Well, let's go ahead and uh, accept those and go back. You. I guess we'll just, um, yeah, we'll just deal with that part of it. We're going to bypass another uh, gas station. Ooh. You know what? That's okay. We're gonna we're gonna bring a trailer with us. We're gonna sell this trailer. We're gonna sell the trailer we bring with us. I think it's gonna be. Ooh. You know what? I am supposed to go left there. Um, let me see what trailers we have real quick. I don't mind leaving the fuel trailer here. I almost kind of want to. It's the other trailer that's the big issue. Alright, so let's refuel. Figured why not we're here. We're gonna leave those trailers there for now. I really don't need the fuel trailer. Ugh. You know what? Let's attach the winch. I really truly don't need the fuel trailer. Oh, no, that was a tree. <laughs> Uh, attach winch. I can really only attach it to the side. Alright, well let's... Let's see what happens. And I... Tipped it over like a moron. Uh, this is not going to plan, guys. Not whatsoever. Oh man, I've got myself into a pickle. I don't know what I get hung up on. Oh, there is a stump there now. Apparently that one's the one that's getting me. Let's get this uprighted. Well, maybe, just maybe we can get it to turn. Nope. 
Let's just keep rolling it. Yeah. Good. Well, I'm glad we figured that out. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I hope I'm not the only person who struggles like this sometimes. Alright, let's see if we can't get... Okay. Alright, we'll just slowly reel this in. And get it to come around. Alright, at least I'm at least I'm taking care of one of my trailer messes. Alright, this is this is probably why I've never gone back to Michigan. To try to deal with all the other trailers that I have laying around. Because for some reason. I just have an issue trying to get trailers and recover trailer. That's probably the hardest part of this game. It should be really simple. All I have to do is get rid of the trailer that I have now. Sell that and then come back and get that and hook it up to the to the actual back of the truck and it would be fine. It would be simple. Easy. No. I have to go all crazy and insane and, and try to do stupid things that end up costing more time but hopefully it's more entertaining that way because I mean if I did everything perfectly would it be entertaining probably not so much maybe a little bit uh, we're gonna haul butt down this hill we're gonna not look at the uh, fuel tanker and not try to figure out what it's doing although it has just been annihilated by stumps stuck on a stump, not the trailer. Oh, come on, let go. I don't even see a stump, guys. Oh, yeah, there wasn't a stump. You just have to call it out sometimes. You're like, I don't even see a stump. Alright, let's see if we can roll this over. All right, yeah, we're gonna drag it like that. It's fine. Okay, hopefully we can... There we go. There is a million anchor points. And yank. Oh, that should have stood it up. I'm a little disappointed in that. There we go. I knew eventually it would work. Alright, let's avoid the rest of the stumps. I don't need to hit every single stump on this map. And uh, yeah, definitely uh, fill up the truck before I sell it. The, uh, the fuel trailer, that is. I believe this is the one that we brought over from uh, the Drownlands. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, I was afraid of that. I knew I was going to bounce it off the gate. Oh well. <laughs> we don't have to pay for damages, so that's probably a good thing. As long as we uh, keep things running smoothly, we should be okay. We are sucking down 2.4 gallons. That cuts that down to 30 minutes. A little bit longer than 30 minutes, maybe 40 minutes. That's still pretty good. Considering it takes, what, 10 minutes to suck all the gas out of the MK38? <laughs> it was a decent truck for when I needed it. And that was in Michigan. Where you don't really have any good trucks. Or at least not, not until they get upgraded. Ooh, 
Ooh. A little iffy there. Also, yeah, that reminds me. I want to um, accept this task, but we'll we'll do that on the way out. I think that will be um, it's a weird spot for a task too. It's pretty much just a couple trees. All right, so let's drop off the three vehicle. All right, well that was that was. Pretty simple. Uh, it does allow us to get repaired. There's the trailer store. I knew there was a trailer store. Um. So yeah, let's let's drag this trailer over. We're going to attempt to do this without uh, having any issues. Oh, well, that's one issue. I think the issues here are, uh, are my own fault. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's sell this trailer. Back up. We will hook up. And there's a fuel station right there, so I'm not even gonna bother to uh, fill up. This is this is almost like a, a garage here. Oh, and it repairs. Why what is that box over here that's highlighted? I thought this was the repair spot. What is this box for? Oh, cargo management. Okay. Oh, so this is the cargo. Okay, so there's only 12 cargos. So... Yeah, I'm definitely not going to... Uh, want to screw up and have to use that multiple times. If, if there's 12 of them there, that means that I'm probably going to have to haul at least 8 out. <laughs> and they probably only give me so many extra chances, so... Uh, but that's all in the future. Um, so let's grab that. We're going to... you know what? We're going to do this one first. Let's go get this task out here so that it's... Um, Accessible from anywhere on the map. Maybe, maybe it's a quick mission. Who knows? Uh, yeah, we're not gonna worry about the time trial there. And let's see here. Let's accept this. Let's start tracking it. Um, check the eastern tower. That, that's all I gotta do. Drive way over there. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely a scout mission because that is a scout trail right there uh, so we won't uh, we won't worry about that one yet okay and then if we go to I think it was this one east wind is that no wasn't that one wasn't that one wasn't that one <laughs> wasn't any of those Okay, so Trans Demir is basically just logging. And as in true fashion, when it comes to SnowRunner, we will save that for the uh we'll save that for the uh very last missions. Alright, so that's the gateway to the rift, so uh Seismic vibrator. We need a seismic vibrator. Oh, we need two more. Okay, so we can actually get... Where are the wooden planks? 
And the wooden beams are all the way, or the metal beams are all the way back there. Well, I suppose, yeah. I mean, I really wasn't expecting to do this yet, but let's, uh, let's go to the rift. That didn't do what I wanted it to do. There we go. Apparently I accepted it, but I didn't leave it uh, marked. Alright, so uh, where are we? We are going to the Northern Road. <laughs> oh. uh. Yeah, you know what? I think we will turn left there. First of all, let's back up. Because yes, we don't have a... Uh, obviously a good turning radius, so... We've got trees, we've got mud, we've got stumps. We've got a little bit of everything. I don't think I've actually been on this trail before. So this will be uh, very interesting. Nice little divot there. I mean, to have ruts on a road like this, it's got to be well traveled. And there it goes, it's raining again. <laughs> Typical Russian fashion. It is, uh, it's raining. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't know if it really rains that much in Russia. I mean, I'm sure it does. Uh, but not like, you know, when you think of like England raining all the time, it just is always raining there. Oh, uh oh. Mm. There we go. Just a little, little downshift. That's all we needed. Uh, I'm gonna cut through. Am I supposed to cut through? Ah, uh, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Doesn't look like you're supposed to, but it definitely looks like uh, it's a shortcut. Now I just gotta pick my trail through here wisely. And, um, well, that was acting like it was a stump. Really? This is what kills me. This right here. These little tiny branches. Come on, where's my marker? There it is. That's all we needed. Alright, let's just let's just head down the, the hill here. <laughs> That's uh close enough out of a shortcut as we get in Snow Runner. Ooh, bad turning radius. Alright, now I think... Where do we go? We gotta go after the pond and then we can turn right. Or I could just follow that trail, but yeah, we'll, we'll go... We'll go with the wider road. Whatever this hole is from, that's filled with water. 
Yeah, we're gonna go around that. <laughs> long, long are the days where I used to try to go through things like that just for fun. I think that yellow box over there is actually the uh, the gateway. Could be wrong though. Um, I think it's the gateway. Maybe it's a task. Maybe it's an upgrade. Let's uh, let's go scope it out real quick. Oh, so many things that are hiding in these trails. Uh, I think we can work our way up there. Oh man, look at how much of an angle you're on. Uh, it looks like it's a task. Yep, that's okay. Cliffhanger. Let's go ahead and accept this one. Uh, we can we can try this later. There isn't um yeah, there isn't much uh going on in this quarry. There is definitely something down there though. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna worry about that later. Oh, do I want to try it? I kind of want to try it. I probably should just go back and around. And uh, but yeah, I kind of want to be stupid and and try to go up this hill just to see if I can do it. And honestly, now that I'm doing it, it doesn't look that bad. I'm a little nervous about the rocks. Because, yeah, you, you lose grip on rocks, right? It definitely, definitely kills your momentum. And it doesn't look like the rocks are moving. I kind of halfway expected them to just uh, roll out of the way. There's definitely no attachment point. Um, can we do it? I think we can do it. I think we did it. We did it. Alright, let's just keep going up. Although I don't know where up is. Oh, there's an upgrade. That's cool. I do have to go up this way. Um. Okay, I gotta come back down. Definitely got to get the truck closer to this edge. I hope this isn't the only way to get into the rift. Because uh, if it is, that's uh, going to be insane. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't plan on going to the rift today, but we are we are on the map called the rift. And in my mind, it's like a rift from the Marvel movies where there's a hole in the ground and it's filled with a bunch of funny colors that are swirling around and if you fall through it, you end up in space. I doubt that's what happens here. Uh, but we do have... what do we have? Oh, I gotta get all the way up there to do the Pathfinder. Alright, it looks like a small map. Yeah, the rift is pretty small. Alright, wow. I was gonna go back and do those up or get that upgrade, uh, but now I think I just want to, uh, yeah, we'll explore this rift, which is a very small map, and I want to get to. Well, let's get to the fuel station for sure, and then. Yeah, I guess I, I I don't even know where to go. Like we are I'm guessing this is more like no man's land where there's just nothing around. There's a couple watchtowers. And uh I don't know, maybe this is a scout only map. <laughs> uh which is very well possible. That that would be a nice little twist. Uh, that you really only just use scouts here. Um, but we got a trailer. So we got a little bit of experience for that. 
And more importantly, we got an extra 20 gallons worth of gas, so... Uh, well... There's four watchtowers. Which is pretty insane, because it is a small map. Well, let's just let's just keep going up this way. Uh, can we? No, you know what? It's pretty close. I think we're just going to. We'll come back and get that one. If it was any farther away, I'd probably go out of my way to get it. But uh, yeah, we'll just. We'll kind of mosey up on this road and see what we can see. There are uh, there are definitely no straight routes. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll go off to the left here. We're gonna avoid this uh, crack in the ground. Oh, maybe this is what they mean by rift: is that it's literally just a crack in the ground. And that somehow, <laughs> somehow we're supposed to get across it. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to get down there. I'm, uh, I'm gonna seem, can I run that tree over? Holy crap, that was, even that was a lot bigger of a drop than I was expecting. All right, well let's uh, let's recenter here. Oh, that looks like a nice little way down. Maybe uh, maybe we'll try that next time. All right, well there we go. No, I want the front. Come on. Thank you. There we go. Gotta get that truck turned. And get off the rock. Thank you. I believe, is that our watchtower? Wow, I, I have no clue why I thought I would be right next to the watchtower. Um, well, let's just mosey up on this road. Let's find out what's up here. Oh, there's a trailer. No, uh, no reason for that trailer to be there, but it's there. This is a very, very different map than uh, anything we've seen. Hey, look at all that rock. That's kind of fun. That looks like that's going to be a chore to get over there. I know exactly what vehicle I need for, for this area. Um, and ironically, <laughs> I don't have it yet. Well, let's just keep following this road. I definitely have a feeling that we're going to have to find... find the uh, vehicle that I'm thinking of. The Tartan. And uh, come back with that. Although I think that one has... Um, I mean, it does have spare gas that you can carry on it because it's a scout vehicle. Uh, but I think it's very quick to uh, dispose of the gas, if you know what I mean. Um, wow. <laughs> I suppose I really should have used the watchtowers first to try to open up this place. Maybe this would have been a good map to uh, get rid of the watchtowers and then you have to bring your own sonar. That would have been cool. I wonder if they actually do that in any other map. Hmm. Alright, 
are we getting close to where we have to go? I'm glad I brought this truck. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, somehow we got completely off course. Uh, oh my god, Like I don't even think this curls around. Alright, well you know what, we'll just, we'll go with it. I think there was some type of bridge there. That's been uh, long washed out. But lucky for us, there's a shallow part of the river that we can just climb right through. Alright, don't... Don't... I see tons of things that are yellow, but I don't see anything that is a... upgrade or a task of any means. I may have to do some rock climbing. Or hopefully this turns around. Uh, let's let's back it up real quick. Gotta make that fine adjustment for these tight corners. There we go, we did it. Um, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be for $1,300. But like I said, it, it almost felt like it was a scout mission. Uh, which would have been nice if that's what it said. <laughs> we do have a watchtower there we can go get. Well, uh, you know what, I feel like we have to get a watchtower. Uh, to come all this way and then basically not get a watchtower at all. Pretty sad. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're not going to make that turn. But yeah, and we have roughly about nine minutes left of the episode, so... Yeah, I think what we're going to have to do... Is, uh, figure out how to get over there. Ooh, and figure it out is, uh going to be T. Get through the mud. Oh, it is, it is sloppy through here. Uh, I think we go this way. Also, it goes off in two different parts. Yay. I'm really starting to see a lot of farmland, so I wonder if we're going to have to do farming in this, uh, on this map. I didn't think Russia had farming in it. I thought farming came much, much later. And, oh, there's our watchtower. Um, I could just stand on the top of the truck and, and, and have a better view. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. Well, here's the million dollar question is, where was that upgrade? Oh, good. It's right next to the farms. There's an upgrade. There's a trailer. There's tasks. There's a lumber yard. There's a trailer. Yeah. And there's whatever this is, the scrap yard. All right. So. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it there. Let's go ahead and we're going to recover the truck. We are way out of our league right now. And uh, yeah, I kind of want to do this all with um, with the scout vehicle. So let's go ahead and recover and we'll head back towards well, our only garage so far. We've, we've exposed three maps. And we only have one garage. So we have a we have a semi-garage, I guess, or a quasi-garage. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we only have the one garage to re to recover back to. Let's see, can I upright buy? I have the yard. 
think I have to find this vehicle. Yes, right here. Explore the world to unlock. Alright, so we have to figure out where this vehicle is, because that's that's the one I really want to grab. This thing is a beast when it comes to... In fact, I think it's just purely the best scout in the game. Um, unless some of the upgrade or the uh, DLCs are better. Not really sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of that uh, that scout vehicle. I really want to play with this vehicle. I mean, that's that's a DLC, isn't it? Yeah. But it, uh, I don't know, it looks like it would be fun. And it's a dairy, so you know it's good, right? It's gotta be. It's like the Longhorn. But this is a dairy special. Anyways. Uh. Yeah, those are all DLC. So anyways, let me know what you guys think is the, uh, the best scout in the game. Whether it's stock or DLC. And, uh, yeah, if you guys like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, let me know why. And, uh, like always, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.